Looking back to my first ever video introducing my channel, I realized that there is one gaping lie that I should have taken accountability for. In that video, I said, I've never written anything in my life, except some small pieces outside of high school. But this wasn't entirely true. Buried in the depths of my computer are several trunk novels that I've recently rediscovered. Finding them and reading them again has helped me realise how important and foundational they were and given me a very valuable lesson to share. First things first, you may be wondering what a trunk novel is exactly. Simply, this is a book or story that you wrote at the very beginning of your journey to be an author. I should clarify here that I'm going to be using the Americanism of trunk to mean some form of chest or sturdy crate as we may know them in British English. I'll continue using this term as it's the industry accepted one, but just know that I'm not happy about it. Anyway, usually trunk novels are something that you enjoyed writing but never took further. It was fun, expressive and explorative to just let loose and write freely, but importantly, and it is important, these are never intended to be published or shown to another living soul. The trunk novel is your practice and warm-up that is thrown in the trunk to never see the light of day again. They take many forms from short stories, half-finished epics, projects abandoned after a few inspiration-filled chapters, or even just a few paragraphs of something that intrigued you one rainy afternoon. It may, at first glance, seem like a waste to have all this effort and enjoyment simply discarded, but there are some very intrinsically valuable things that we can get out of making trunk novels. First of all, they are fantastic reflection points to go back to and see how far your writing has come. I recently read through an epic fantasy book I had tried to write a number of years ago and was surprised to see how much of my writing style has evolved, how much I was telling, how overly descriptive and repetitive much of my writing was, how my characters lacked much depth, and how many contrivances there were throughout each and every plotline. It wasn't all negative, though. There were some great elements that really caught my attention, and I've noted down for future use. Some snippets of dialogue that were compelling, and some descriptions that just hit the mark. This trunk novel was definitely mine, by the writing style and structure, but it was very informative to see my journey more plainly laid out in front of me. The more trunk novels you have to catalogue your journey, the more you can see what defines your writing and storytelling style. That's incredibly valuable. Secondly, trunk novels can be very useful for checking lots of the impulsive assumptions we make about writing books. At the time of my second trunk novel, which I just about finished, unlike the epic, I was convinced that I wanted to write fantasy books. I thought I wanted to write an action-focused adventure story that reminded me of all my favourite stories as a child, but as I look back now, I saw that my heart wasn't fully in the story when I was writing them. I had finished that book and never gone back to it. I had never tried to push it into something that could be successful. It even made me question if being a writer was something I wanted to do or not. Finishing and attempting trunk novels is a great exercise to see if this life is really for you at all. When I contrast this with the passion I have for my current book, how much I care about seeing this story through and telling it with justice and discipline, I know that I wasn't destined to write fantasy but that character-focused stories are what really engaged me and allowed my writing to come out. I assumed that I loved The Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, The Witcher, and Game of Thrones because I loved fantasy. I think I do, but loving something from afar and writing about it are very different, and this certainly helped me find my voice and story in my own book. Thirdly, of course, writing trunk novels is a great way to practice writing. We don't really need to go into this into more detail because it's quite obvious, but the chance that the first thing you ever write will turn out to be your bestseller is slim, to say the least. We are not all Tolkien or Rowling, and many people take time to develop their writing, find their style, find the voice, the genre, the structure, and the themes. This is where I am now, but I wouldn't erase my trunk novels for the world, even if the world will never see them. They helped form the book I'm writing now, and gave me the opportunity to find all these skills, opportunities, and stories that were just waiting to be told. So the next time you're writing your book, check your trunk to see if there's something in there that you wrote before that could be useful. Use that to power your writing forward, and if you feel like abandoning the book you're writing now, don't lose heart. Abandoning that book may be the best thing you can do, and writing something rather than nothing at all will all contribute to making your book and you as an author more successful in the future.